Okay, so we looked at those, and now we're going to start the game basics. Woohoo, we're making some progress here. So uh, what I'm going to talk about is so typical in game programming is that when you create a game, typically you create what's called a game board. And then you import that game board into the main program. Now, this is fairly simple programming that he's got going on here, but you can have literally just hundreds of classes that you're bringing in and out, and typically we'll start with some type of game board, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the game board. It's the actual site here, all right? And we're just going to walk through the site, and we're going to look at the code, and uh, then we're going to go through this and animation, and I'm going to talk about threading, and we'll see where we are as far as MIT is concerned as well. So let's go here to the game basics. Ta-da! Uh, so basically, we're going to start talking about you know building games in Java using Swing, and then what we'll be doing is moving on to a 3D API. So, but the, a lot of the skills that you get here, as far as you know, polymorphism, working with classes, putting things in packages, you know, separating things up, are going to follow you with 3D. Okay, and what you're going to need to do, of course, once again, is start getting some working again with Photoshop. Ta-da! Coming up to speed on some of those Photoshop skills. I probably have a few tutorials I've done that I can actually bring you up to speed on that as well. And I think you enjoyed Photoshop as well, is that correct? You own it! Oh man, well then with Photoshop and the Java, you're wild. Oh, that's that's great. I mean, Photoshop's the industry standard. You'll never, you'll you'll thank me for get, for buying it. You really will. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're such a nice guy. You turned out to be a great student. So let's go ahead and... <laughs> Oh, that's very kind of you. So what we're going to do is we're going to start talking about how to, you know, build this or paint this a donut. But first of all, he wants to talk about well, what, how is the game kind of put together? And so this is kind of like the basic, um, put for, in a sense, weaving together a game. So he's going to, he says you're going to have a class that's going to call it, you know, kind of set some of the initial parameters, and uh, and then you're going to have a board. And so he says you have a skeleton and a board is what he's calling it. And the board will be where all the gameplay occurs. And I've actually was working with a game last night where I actually was work doing a lot of work on the board. And then you going to then you call that board into a package. And so this is a little bit confusing here until you get a little bit lower and see what he's, what he's done. And so he's come up with something called a skeleton. So let me go ahead and bring the code up and kind of walk you through that because I was even confused with how he had this set up. And then I went, oh, okay, that's what he's doing. So that's not hard. So bring it up here. So I've created several packages for you um, below here. Uh, I, I, I have the uh, skeleton, the star, one, two, and three, and the donut. So we're not going through a lot of games today, but I think getting the framework together and understanding is what's important. So let's start off with the skeleton. In the skeleton, I basically have two um, programs. One is the skeleton. That's, that's going to be what calls it. So you're actually going to create a method called board or a class called board. You're going to add that to the skeleton class, and that's this is what's going to run everything because it's got the uh, main string args in it. See that? Creates a new skeleton and runs it. No problem. We are we're familiar with all of that. And it's going to create a JFrame. Going to run on a JFrame right there. And so that means my board is I'm probably going to use JPanel. We've seen that before. I think I made mention of that last time, right? And right here, there's nothing in it. Nothing at all. all right. Now, the folder, it's in a package. And see this package name right here? And what that package is, is that basically it means that all classes are, have a package unless they're running, you know. You, I haven't been using this package um, statement because typically they're, you know, at the root level, so I don't even use, you don't even need it. But when you put them inside a folder then, and you want to run them from a folder, then you actually do need this package statement. That's basically where it's at. Now, this is typically not how it's done. Typically how it's done, there's like further folders down. So I want to actually create another folder here. We'll call this new. And we'll create a new folder here inside the skeleton folder. And we'll call this uh, my board, for example. Did I spell that right? Good, my board. Hit finish. And so I have a folder here now. And I'm going to put the board into that folder. And what uh, Eclipse knows for me immediately is that I'm moving it, so I need to change the reference as well. So it's automatically going to change my package statement for me. So I'm going to run that. And now that uh, is, is actually not in the main uh, folder anymore. It's actually in a lower folder. 
And if you open up my board, you can see it actually did change the uh, package statement for me now. And here's the point, and this is a big point right here. When you ha here's to go to my donut. When you have two classes that are in the same level, you see they're in the same place. You don't need to import one into the other. It immediately knows to look at that at its root level first. But when they're not at the root level together, then the the main program that's calling it. Um, Skeleton, for example, knows it needs to be imported. So we're going to import this uh, program. And you know what? Look, when it moved it, it imported it for me automatically. Isn't that so nice of it? See, so if I comment that out, that it actually ran. I thought, why is this running? So if I comment that out now and try to run this program, so I already got an error. See that error right there? It's going, where is my board? I don't see it. Well, when I moved it, Eclipse was nice when it, it moved around, but you always have Cl Eclipse moving things around for you. You'll be building things from scratch. And just remember, I have to put that in a, in, in a, a folder beneath that. And I will typically have hundreds of classes th that are in folders beneath. And uh, I'll be calling those, and I'll have to import them. Okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because that board will most likely typically call in maybe 20 or 30 other classes. So you wouldn't want all those 20 or 30 classes. It'd just be a mess. You've got to organize all those into folders.